Let me ask you this. Now, you, you speak, you were speaking about a camera operator, Nick. Now, you were also the camera operator on Exorcist 2 in 1977. Now, with all the rumors right. of, about the Exorcist production and many involved being so-called cursed, did that cross your mind at all in deciding whether you or whether or whether or not to work in the sequel? Not really, but we did have to recreate or go back up in the bedroom where she, you know, is possessed. Mm-hmm. And that was actually pretty scary. And if I remember correctly, Richard Burton was in that scene. And he's a very tough guy or was a very tough guy to work with. And when we would pan, pan down the camera to get her get ready to to uh, puke, the camera head would get jammed and, and we couldn't we'd have to do another take. And Burton got real upset with us. So it was that room with that going on that, you know, was scary enough to begin with the possession um, and Burton. Uh, it was it was a rough it was a rough day or two. Yeah, days. I think whether or not you believe in the supernatural, you can't deny the fact that at the very least, there's something that happens when there's when enough people are under the impression that something could happen that and that uh, that energy has ability to manifest itself in certain ways. Like you see where towns, have, a whole towns have started laughing and hysteric laughter just because it's something it's something that you know is is. Uh, what is it called when um, contagious mm-hmm. right. yes. and, and yeah. And you get an environment like that. It's easy for, for like a hysteria to, to happen. Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer.